Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com at the end of October and beginning of November 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Matthew Perry died October 28, 2023 at his home in Los Angeles at the age of 54. He was a sitcom legend for his long-running role on the hit show Friends as the sarcastic Chandler Bing. He also had many other roles on TV and in movies. Perry is also being remembered for his recent best-selling memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, and for his candid talk about his struggles with addiction and work to help others fighting addiction. A note to remember, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately by their family or the authorities. When a cause of death has not been officially announced, we do not report on rumors. Every family has a right to their privacy. Actor Richard Mall died October 26, 2023, at his home in Big Bear Lake, California, at the age of 80. He was a fan favorite on Night Court, playing Bull Shannon, the hulking but friendly and funny courtroom bailiff. Mal is also being remembered for his voice role on Batman the Animated Series as Two-Face and Harvey Dent. Artist Ida Applebrook died October 22, 2023, in New York City at the age of 93. She was a multimedia artist whose work confronted gender, depression, sexual identity, mental health, and social politics. Applebrook is being remembered as the recipient of many honors, including a MacArthur Fellowship, also known as a Genius Grant. Basketball player Bobby Bingo Smith died October 26, 2023, at the age of 77. He was an all-time great for the Cleveland Cavaliers, playing on their memorable Miracle at Richfield squad in 1976. Smith is being remembered as one of the team's all-time leaders in scoring, games played, and more. World leader Li Keqiang died October 27, 2023, in Shanghai. He died of a heart attack at the age of 68. He was the former premier of China, the country's second-ranking official. Kachang is being remembered as an advocate for private business and for closing the country's wealth gap, who pushed to reduce bureaucracy in China. Musician Aaron Spears died in October 2023 at the age of 47. He was a sought-after session drummer and producer who worked with such pop stars as Ariana Grande, Usher, Lady Gaga, and Miley Cyrus. Spears is also being remembered as an inspiration and mentor to young drummers. Baseball player Frank Howard died October 30, 2023 in Aldi, Virginia. He died of a stroke at the age of 87. He was a slugger for the Washington Senators in the 1960s and 70s, called the Washington Monument and the Capitol Punisher for his imposing size and skill. Howard is also being remembered for his years as a coach and manager for such teams as the San Diego Padres and the New York Yankees. Restaurateur Ryan Smolkin died October 29, 2023, of complications from recent surgery at the age of 50. He founded the poutine restaurant chain Smokes Poutinery and built it to more than 100 locations in Canada and the U.S. Smolkin is being remembered as the company's chief entertainment officer, who also spread his love for poutine in his popular YouTube videos. Theater critic and writer Robert Brustein died October 29, 2023, at the age of 96. He wrote widely about the theater, often focusing on the importance of nonprofit theater in fostering the creation of art. 
Brewstein is being remembered as the founder of the Yale Repertory Theater and the American Repertory Theater, who was honored with many awards, including the National Medal of Arts. Psychiatrist David Schaefer died October 15, 2023, in Mastic Beach, New York. He died of complications from Alzheimer's disease at the age of 87. He conducted a groundbreaking study into child and teen suicide in the 1960s, identifying patterns leading to a tragic outcome that had once been considered unpredictable. Schaefer is being remembered for the legacy of suicide prevention protocols enabled by his research. Chef Terry Rotaro died October 29, 2023, after fighting pulmonary fibrosis at the age of 64. Born in France, he became a celebrity chef in Seattle, where he headed the popular restaurants Rovers, Luke, and Lulay. Rotaro is being remembered as the chef in the hat for his signature fedora, as well as for his appearances on TV shows like Top Chef Masters and Great Chefs from Great Cities. Activist Adi Barkin died November 1, 2023, of complications from ALS at the age of 39. Once called the most powerful activist in America, he was a leader in the fight for health care reform. Barkin is being remembered for working after his ALS diagnosis to found Be a Hero, a powerful political action committee that is working to improve health care for all. Actor Tyler Christopher died October 31, 2023, at his home in San Diego. He died of a cardiac event at the age of 50. He starred on General Hospital as Nicholas Cassidyne, appearing on and off for two decades. Christopher is also being remembered for his roles on Days of Our Lives and The Lion Game. Basketball coach Bobby Knight died November 1, 2023, in Bloomington, Indiana, at the age of 83. He was the longtime head coach at Indiana University Bloomington, taking the Hoosiers to three national championships. He is also being remembered as a coach at Texas Tech and the U.S. Military Academy, and he coached the U.S. men's basketball team to a gold medal at the 1984 Olympics. Knight was a U.S. Army veteran who served for two years in the 1960s and continued in the Army Reserve for another four years. At least 48 people died when Hurricane Otis made landfall in Acapulco, Mexico on October 25, 2023. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. Five years ago this week, actress Sandra Locke died at the age of 74. She starred in movies like The Heart is a Lonely Hunter and The Outlaw Josie Wales. 24 years ago this week, football player Walter Payton died at the age of 46. A legend of the Chicago Bears, he helped lead the team to victory at Super Bowl XX. 30 years ago this week, actor River Phoenix died at the age of 23. He was an Oscar nominee for his performance in Running on Empty, and he starred in such movies as Stand By Me and My Own Private Idaho. 52 years ago this week, musician Dwayne Allman died at the age of 24. He founded and led the Allman Brothers Band, known for enduring hits like Ramblin' Man and Melissa. 97 years ago this week, legendary performer Harry Houdini died at the age of 52. He was known for his incredible escape acts and illusions. Football player Brian Piccolo was born 80 years ago this week. He died in June 1970 at the age of 26. The story of his fight with cancer was dramatized in the beloved movie Brian's Song. 
actor Michael Landon was born 87 years ago this week. He died in July 1991 at the age of 54. He was a TV star for decades in Bonanza, Little House on the Prairie, and Highway to Heaven. Actress Barbara Belgettis was born 101 years ago this week. She died in August 2005 at the age of 82. She starred as Miss Ellie Ewing in the TV hit Dallas. Actor Jack Sue was born 106 years ago this week. He died in January 1979 at the age of 61. He was best known for his starring role in TV's Barney Miller. Actor Burt Lancaster was born 110 years ago this week. He died in October 1994 at the age of 80. He starred in such movies as From Here to Eternity and Birdman of Alcatraz. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of former state representative John Klinke. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Specialist Brian Joshua Snowden. Flags in Maine have been lowered to honor the memory of the 18 people who lost their lives in the shootings in Lewiston. The names of the 18 victims of the shooting in Lewiston, Maine on October 25, 2023 have been released. They are Trisha Aslin, Billy Brackett, Peyton Brewer Ross, Thomas Conrad, Michael Delorier II, Max Hathaway, Brian McFarlane, Keith McNair, Ronald G. Morin, Joshua Seal, Arthur Strout, Bob Vilet, Lucille Vilet, Steve Vazella, Jason Walker, Joseph Walker, Aaron Young, Bill Young. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.